Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. And today we're looking at elimination, not accumulation. Now, where does this all start? Well, it starts in our task manager. And when you're new to using a to-do list or task manager, that enthusiasm in the early days means that you are going to be collecting a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that in the long term probably doesn't need to be there. You see, when your task manager or to-do list starts filling up with stuff, that's how you start moving towards the world of overwhelm and stressed out. However, the caveat here is when you first start, you really do need to develop the habit of collecting everything. And that means you know, picking up the phone and getting it into the system as quickly as you possibly can. But that's just the first part. The real important part is when you go into your inbox and you start to process because ideally the goal should be that you eliminate 80% of what you accumulate. Now, this is a really good rule of thumb to work towards, although for most of us, it's practically impossible. But you see, the less you have to do, the more effective you are going to be. And that means reducing as much as you can. But how can you reduce all these tasks that you keep collecting? Well, a lot of these things do generally have what I like to call natural triggers. For example, taking the garbage out in your home or in your office. Well, the natural trigger there is the garbage can is full and therefore it needs emptying. So you don't really need a reminder adding to your to-do list to tell you to do that because every time you walk past the garbage can, you're going to see that it's full and you're going to know it needs replacing. Similarly, if you're driving a car, whether you're driving an electric car or a fuel car, there is an indication that tells you when you need to recharge or refuel. So there's a natural trigger because if you keep leaving it, the light's going to go on you know, the warning light's going to go on. And if you continue, well, you're going to run out of fuel. And there is no better way of getting you to do something about putting fuel into your car. But that's just the simple things. But there are more things like looking out for duplication. Now, email is a classic place where we end up duplicating stuff because we get an email, we know we have to action it. So we send it to our task manager. Right, so now you've got two copies of it. You've got the original email sat in your email money, email uh, software, and you've got the task now in your task manager. Now a lot of task managers put a copy of the email in there too. So what essentially you've got now is you've got duplication. Now, instead of doing that, what you could do is just create a folder inside your email called action this day or actionable email, and anything that you have to do in email goes in there, one place. And now all you need is a daily, single, one single daily recurring task that tells you to clear your actionable email for the day. And I would just as a side issue here, I would phrase it like that, clear action this day folder, simply because it's much more actionable and it gives you an end goal that that folder will be clear by the end of the day. And what you want to be doing is looking for stuff like this. Now, I hear you saying, well, what about all my projects? There's loads of tasks I have to do in my projects. Well, this is true. Now, the problem that you will have with a task manager is if you start throwing stuff related to projects in there is that you're going to have random tasks popping up on random days that are not necessarily associated with the work that you're doing that day. So you end up rescheduling a lot of those project tasks. A far better place to manage your project task is actually inside a project note. Now, this is a simple method whereby each project that you have that you're working on, you have a note for that project. And you can create checklists, you can throw screenshots in there, you can throw emails in there, you can throw all sorts of stuff into that project note that really a to-do list or a task manager is not very good at handling. So rather than having 20 tasks related to a project stuck inside your to-do list, you just have one single task again, which says work on this project and then 
a link to that note in your task manager if your task manager will do that. That way, instead of having 30 tasks a day, you can reduce that right down to maybe just 10 to 15 tasks a day. Now, when you're looking at a to-do list that has 10 to 15 tasks, it's way more motivating and inspiring to really get on and get that work done rather than seeing 30 or 40 tasks, which is just going to make you feel Ugh, when you look at it in the morning. So what you want to be doing is getting a little bit more strategic about what you put into your to-do list. Elimination rather than accumulation. And that starts with processing your inbox. Get really tough about what actually gets into your system. I've thrown stuff in there related to projects quite frequently. Now what I will do then is I will just copy and paste that into the project note and then I can eliminate it. That way I'm not filling up my to-do list with so many tasks that it's just impossible to do them. And also it's going to spread out my focus for the day. I can, if I'm trying to focus on five or six projects in one day, I'm not going to feel a real connection with that project. I'm not going to feel like it's moving forward because I'm doing little bits randomly amongst my week. Whereas I would prefer to set aside two solid hours to work on a specific project and have everything related to that project in one single place, i.e. the project note. And that's just a much better place to have everything because I can have, because I use, as you can see, I have a 32 inch monitor here. I can have the note in a nice little side on one side of the screen and then I can have the keynote or uh, Word or pages or whatever I'm using on the other side of the page. Therefore, I can see everything all in one screen. I'm not having to do this using up a lot of energy and getting a bad neck. It's right there, right in front of me. I can add notes quickly. I'm not adding stuff to a task manager as well. There's no duplication. Everything is self-contained. Well, hopefully that's given you some ideas about a goal that you should have with your task manager, which is to eliminate rather than accumulate it. Make it really tough for something to get into your system. It's really about learning how to say no and also saying yes to the right things. It will supercharge your productivity. It'll make you so much more focused on what's truly important to you. And I've talked many times in these videos about your core work, your areas of focus. Those are the things that are truly important to you and they need to be going high up in your task list each day so that those are the things that you're putting your time and attention to. Well, again, thank you very much for watching this video. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me. And thank you very much for watching this brief video.